Hi everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. We've got an auto chess update, and then I'm gonna take you into a match, and we're gonna try to play using what has been updated. Boy, that wasn't uh, as hard as I made it. Okay, let's see. The update that just happened today? Uh, Storm Shaman, a legendary piece, went from cost five to cost four, so it dropped down an entire tier to epic, with that, all of its stats changed. Obviously, it became weaker in every respect. It lost its magic resistance. It lost a point of armor. Its ability duration is less, but that does mean that it's gonna be easier to do a full cave build and to get Shaman together a lot easier. So I would love to hop into a game and play around with that. They did a slight tweak to Spacewalker as active weapon width has been increased a little bit. Uh, the Shaman Synergy turning process used to take two and a half seconds. Now it takes two seconds. I actually hadn't noticed this. I, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to feel. So we'll have to see. And then they fixed some issues on the back end. But those are our patch notes. That's a big change for the Cave Clan and for Shaman. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Let's play around with Cave Clan. Didn't get any clan, that's okay. So I wanna play around with Cave Clan as we talked about with this new update. And I'd also possibly like to transition to Shaman. You know, we could do like a Cave Assassin, Cave Warrior. Uh, I feel like a lot of that works really well. Just a real basic build that uh, hopefully we can play around with the new Storm Shaman and kind of see how that all feels. It's gonna be wild getting Storm Shaman a lot earlier now. So let's see here. Item wise, uh, I've been told to talk a little bit more about my process as I go through this for newer players, which of course I will. There's a cave unit right there, Red Axe Chief. And I'll also grab a Stone Spirit, just that way we have possible three warrior synergy coming up. So, uh, item-wise, you never buy until you see all three sets of items. You don't need to. You're not going to lose any of these first three creep rounds as long as you put units down. So, you don't buy until you see three sets of items. There are a few items, depending on what you're building uh, or what you want to build, that are more important than others. For instance... A Magicka Crystal is a great item if you also find a Magicka Staff and make a Pulse Staff. It's one of the best early items in the game. Let's see what else we get here. Ooh, another cave. Ask and ye shall receive. Two cave, one beast here. Uh, nobody else I really need to grab that I care about. So, back to the items. If we're going warriors, there are a few items I really like for warriors. You know, if you're, if you're going cave is all about, you know, increasing their health. And in doing so, you have a few units that are your carries. So you might want to, you know, uh, increase the damage a couple of your carries are doing. I like taking cattle hide armor and cattle hide armor. You can combine that to get steel plate mail. Gives everyone armor, but the real bonus is the barbaric curious. It gives a lot of attack speed to everyone. That's a really good one. Let's see what our third is. Okay, so looking at our three here, things that spring to my mind are getting steel plate mail or getting an ice plate mail, another good item. Uh, we also could take a wooden club and combine that with a lucky coin. Ooh, let's see here. So we've got three cave units. I like, uh, well, maybe I'll get the summon. So item wise with what I'm looking at here and given that I'm like talking too much and not doing it, I could lose this round. Yeah, he's got a two star unit. We're going to lose this round. But looking at it and considering we're going to have warriors and stuff like that, I don't really have an option to do much magic resistance at all. So I'm going to go ahead and take cattle hide armor and cattle hide armor. And I'm just going to make this first little steel plate mail just make everyone stronger and I won't actually put it on our skull hunter I'm gonna put it on our uh, boy I forgot his name but he's got a red axe chief I'm gonna put it on our red axe chief here so 
my thought process here is it's just a good item to have. The, the idea behind cave is you got a lot of health. With warriors, you get armor. We're just increasing that to make them really, really tanky. We're going to have to watch out for mage damage later. That could be the thing that gets us. Going to upgrade stone spirit. I'll also grab abyssal guard. I'll grab fortune teller just in case it looks like we're heading to a losing streak. But I don't think we're going to be losing with this build right here. And since he is now a two-star unit, I'll actually put the item on him. The reason being, his health is 1,400 as opposed to the Red Axe Chief's health, 700. Uh, two-star units are most likely going to survive a lot longer, and this just gives us the ability to have that aura stay around as long as possible. That's my thought there. So, again... An Abyssal Crawler, you know, we could use this if we were going Cave, you know, excuse me, Cave Assassin or something like that. Uh, but right now, I think I'm just going to do, you know, a basic sort of Cave Warrior situation. Again, if it looks like we're losing a lot, I might take our uh, Fortune Teller and throw them out there. We actually did just lose twice. So what I could do at this point is start putting in units to create a loss streak, which isn't terrible but i think we'll probably start winning here pretty soon let's see what we're up against we got another person going cave a lot of demon everyone's got a demon on the board this person's got two starred hmm you know what i could do i mean i could swap a unit here just in case i lose and maybe this will actually secure my loss streak if i lose here then i'll continue to secure my loss streak I just don't know if, you know, Warrior Cave is a, sort of a lost streaking type build, but it absolutely can be. If we're just not getting enough good units, we're not starring up as fast as everyone else. So we'll see how this goes. But if this is a loss, I might continue to lean into our loss here, which it is. Pulling that Warrior kind of helps solidify it as well. Now we've just got to decide if we are losing... How do we have a build out there that loses to everyone, including this other person who is on a lost streak? And also, if we're losing, you know, it's time to be saving some money up here. If you're losing, you need to be losing to get economy. If I find a few cave units and things start to star up, though, I think I'll switch away from this pretty quick. Grab these unicorns. Yeah. And Abyssal Guard or Tusk. Well, I only need one gold, so I'm going to sell my Tusk here. The question is, I think I lose to every build on the board. I think. And an easy way to make sure of that is I am going to unequip this item here, if I can. <laughs> Jeez, game. I think I lose to every build on the board here. Oh, boy. Maybe not this one. <laughs> Per a perfect build for me to win. Are you serious? <laughs> this would be uh, if we if we win here, uh, which it looks like we're going to maybe. If we win here, then we're gonna have to start winning, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we're winning. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for our loss streak. And the idea behind the Lost Streak is uh, just to get extra gold. And now that we won, it breaks it. I don't really want to go back and forth, so now we're going to have to try to win. I had all those unicorns so that I could just star them up real quickly and sell them. You just make extra money by doing that. So that's what I did with those. We've got 20 gold at this point. I'd like us to win this round, but I could see us not winning the round, you know? So we're just going to have to see. Uh, I think I'll have you here. Maybe use something like this. So I'd like to keep our interest. Considering we're not going win streak or loss streak, I want to make as much money as I can. Somehow I need gold to do that. And we don't have a strong enough build to guarantee a win. You know, what we could do is start rolling to grab some of the units we need. But... What I don't want to do is get our economy in such a bad place that we're kind of like always in this middle ground. So I'd like to try to earn as much interest as I can. I was planning on losing a bunch of rounds and then we beat some jerk. All right, let's see here. 
knew Are you. I could sell you for three. That brings us up to 27. I could sell you two for another three. Yeah, that's... Uh, ooh, but I could also get a f another unit down there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell this guy. If I end up losing this round, I will sell our unicorn. If I don't end up losing this round, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep our unicorn because you get one gold from winning a round. But without a two-star unit here, besides Stone Spirit, who's kind of one of the weaker two-star units in my opinion, um, I think we're going to be in trouble. I don't think we're going to win too many rounds. Like a two-star sword, man, is much better. Yeah, we're losing this one. Selling Unicorn, getting us up to 30 gold. That just means we get three gold from interest. We're just going to use that interest. We're going to try to get up to, at this point, we have to get up to 50 gold. I don't like where we're at right now because I would rather have just lost this whole way. If you've seen a previous video I put up, uh, Grand Herald could be part of our build. Just grab these people. And I can move everybody around here for something that makes more sense. Sure. Let's see. Item-wise, what are we looking for? Well, you know, we could combine... Uh, the Puppet Mask here, it gives some magic resistance and attack lifesteal to some of our allies. We could do that. We could also combine this Lucky Coin, just another uh, another defensive item. Or we could use a uh, Life Crystal to make a Cloud Halberd, which is a really good item to stop you know, someone who has an intense physical carry. This just gave us a wooden club from the drop from killing that guy, which... Let's us have the ability to make the Shadow Edge a really good item for melee units. You know, if we were going Warrior Cave, we could put that on a Doom. If we were going Cave Assassin, we could put that on a Crawler. And then item-wise, almost the, exa the exact same. We got the exact same situation here. Well, I'll take the Lucky Coin. We'll make that combination here. And who's got a faster attack speed? Is it Abyssal Guard? I think it's you, right? Yeah, Lava Shaman. I'll put it on Lava Shaman. Okay, from here, I'll grab the Guard. I'll grab the Red Axe Chief. We've got 36. I think we're going to lose this one. Let's just kind of secure that loss, shall we? I think this is a loss here. Against most any build, they're going to beat us. Uh, by the way, if you're not sure how you can see attack speed, when you bring up a unit by pressing X on them, over on the side here, that little sword that's going like, whoosh, like that, that is the attack speed of that unit. And the lower, the better. The lower that number, the better. Mm. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to sell you. Bring us up to 40 gold. So right now, again, we're kind of waffling back and forth. I just want my gold over 50 at this point. We've lost too much health. We didn't get like an early good bunch of units and we didn't roll for a ton of cave people early. So once I'm over 50 gold, I can start rolling and pull us out of this tailspin. That's my plan, to remove us from a tailspin. I don't know if you could do that in the show. That is a tailspin reference. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see. Attack speed is so slow on Stone Spear at 1.8. I think we're losing against most everybody. Yeah, except for maybe this guy. <laughs> we'll see. One more round, and then we're plus 50 gold the whole way. And we haven't lost too much health to do it, although we're behind. I don't like being this far behind this early. Feels like my last few sets of videos I've been riding lost streaks, which, you know, I don't love. For everyone who used to only hear it in audio, there I am with the big old jug. You get to see me drink it. Okay. And we're losing. And we got some gold and we're losing. Hey, we're losing a lot, but we got a lot of money and it's time to win or at least not lose so bad. Here we go. Red Axe Chief, star him up. Sword Man. Now we have the ability to get four cave. I say we do it. 
and we just decide that we're not going to intentionally lose right now. Uh, Grand Herald and Soul Devourer could both be part of our build. We got money for both of them? We do. So, what are the wizards for, you may ask? Well, if we want a full cave synergy, it's going to take five cave units. Now that Storm Shaman is tier four, we have a chance of finding it a lot earlier. So what we need is to find that unit and then get two wizards on the board because there aren't six cave units. There are only five. So we get the five cave units and the two wizards. The two wizard synergy completes, doesn't complete. It adds plus one to any other synergy if you have, I think it's four or more, or three or more units in it, right? Let me read it. Yeah. So if we have, you know, uh, three mage, it becomes four mage. If we have uh, five cave, it becomes six cave, etc. up and up and up. Uh, we lost that one again, which actually isn't bad. You know, we're just continuing to gain money from our, sh my recording stopped for some reason, but we're back. Okay, let's see. Mm, what do I want? None of you. Strange egg. I am the egg man. Hmm, nobody we're looking for. I would like to star up these people. They're all low cost units, so I didn't really, I don't really want to level myself to level seven. Um, just because getting these units just to, two, all of them becoming two star changes our situation pretty drastically, honestly. But we'll see what happens here. Oof. And now that Red Axe Chief is actually a two, oof, 10 damage. Well, we're going to have to start rolling a little deeper, I think, soon if we don't find what we're looking for. Uh, now that Red Axe Chief is actually two star, I'm going to put my item on him. Let's see. Let's see who we find. Hmm. Werewolf, possibly. Get it? Soul Devourer again. Boy, well, I, I'd replace where I'd replace uh, Stone Spirit with Werewolf or something like that, possibly. Because if we had another uh, Beast Warrior, like if we had Tusk, essentially, we could... Or is his name Tusk in this? I think that's his Dota Underlord's name. Now I'm not remembering what his name is in this. Ooh, Magicka Staff from the drop. We could make a Pulse Staff. Not really what we're looking for uh, with a few of our units, but it works pretty well on Swordman. Uh, I think it works on Lava Shaman as well, right? Pretty positive. You do pure damage, ability damage, right? So yeah, we win this one. Okay, let's see what we find. We've got another magic of staff, a life crystal, and a wooden club. So I can either take this lucky coin and this life crystal, as I talked about earlier, or this magic of crystal, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the magic of crystal. I'm going to get us a pulse staff. I'll put it on. I'll put on Swordman for now. Grab us a Swordman. Let's roll a little bit. I just want to find a couple of these two-star units. I guess someone's the other. Ooh, Storm Shaman. Why hello? That was a little early, huh? But we got him. Well, I'll replace you for a moment here. So that's the nice thing about this Storm Shaman changing its cost. We found it. We're only level six right now and we grabbed a Storm Shaman. I think the smart move at this point, let's move us up to level seven so that we can have all of our caves out there and we can just take full advantage of this cave synergy. Ooh, and I guess, I guess we could put, you know, considering Swordman's only level one still, we could put that Pulse Staff on that Storm Shaman. That'd be fun to see, wouldn't it? I don't know if anyone else feels <laughs> like that when, when they think about this stuff, but I do get excited thinking like, ooh, what are we going to do with this Pulse Staff on the Storm Shaman? And that ends our losing streak also. Something to keep in mind. Once your losing streak is done, ideally, you don't want to lose anymore. Let's take us up to level 7. I'm going to get this guy out there and this guy out there, which means I remove you. Ooh, or actually, I'll remove you. 
right? Oh no, I have to remove them both. I'm so dumb. I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. I kind of want you out of the fray. Okay. So, with this setup here, we now have our full cave synergy. Really early, too, which means everyone gets plus 600 HP and an additional boosted HP equal to 900 times the percentage of the chess player's missing HP. Just so you can see, our Red Axe Chief right now has 2300 uh, HP. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to win rounds just because we have HP, but it makes us a lot more durable. The next thing we need is someone doing enough damage. Like, we need our two-star Lava Shaman and Swordman to make it through this, really. Oops. Selling you. I'll sell you as well, just so I have enough gold. Okay. A loss... Is everyone going cave because of the update? Am I... Everyone's got cave. <laughs> I mean, there's so much cave going on. That's why I'm not finding anyone. They're just... The pool is completely drained. Friendship is magic. There's our lava shaman. I've one husband, two kids, and plenty of hammers. Hmm. One more? Nobody. Abyssal guard, but... You're down the line, abyssal guard. If our health gets to a perilous place i'm gonna have to roll deeper i'd like to keep our gold over 50 as i've said before but you know if we're in trouble then there isn't much we can do Ooh, kind of missed everybody with that lightning storm a eh, storm shaman i'm wondering if because of storm shaman's cooldown time is so intense now if it might just be better to get that pull staff on somebody else. I'm not sure. It's not like it's doing a lot of damage. And, you know, both Lava Shaman and Swordman do more. I think I'm going to switch that pull staff. Whichever one two stars next round, I'm putting it on. Let's see. No. 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 Lava Shaman. put this on you and in fact i'm just gonna put all the bulky items now on lava shaman let's adjust the position see what the game thinks is strong okay i'm here for it let's give it a shot gotta move my mouse over <laughs> for some reason recording in this way my computer shuts off and i think it cuts my recordings so that's why i'm doing what i'm doing as far as this build, the more health we lose, we actually get stronger. As I talked about earlier, he had 2,300 something. Now he's got 2,500 something. So it's kind of weird. We we want to use our loss to our advantage, but also we can only lose so much before we die, right? And we're actually, unfortunately, careening towards that possibility here without finding enough two-star units. What does this put us at? 34... Let's see this is a creep round so we don't need to freak don't need to freak on a creep skull hunter again i don't plan on three starring skull hunter it's just not that useful knows what to do. hmm soul devourer i guess okay so Given our build, we only have two warrior. It might be nice to get a third warrior out there. I'm thinking Doom. So we could push ourselves to level eight and get Doom. I was really just hoping to star up these caves, but we've got three other people with cave units. So we might kind of be shooting ourselves in the foot here by doing this. Let's see. We could take a wooden club rune hammer. What was the item we picked up? I actually didn't look. Wooden glove. Sword man. Hey, buddy. Okay. Let's see. I think let's do it. We've already got... Well, ooh, or life crystal, too. Hmm. Okay, let's take our rune hammer. We'll upgrade that. And from this set of items, uh, I'll take either wooden club or... Well, I might also take the... Staff, depending on what I can combine it with. All right. And then gold-wise, we might need a warrior here. I would like it to be Doom. Of all the warriors we could put down, Doom would be the best for us right now. 
How do we do against this one? This looks like a win for us. Ooh, another rune hammer. Well, I wanted this item, and I think it works. This just makes it so a uh, big old magic blast doesn't kill one of our units right away. I'm putting everything on Lava Shaman. I like Lava Shaman and Swordman. Both are great. I'm just putting it on Lava Shaman here. And let's see. Let's go ahead and... How close are we to leveling? Okay. Next round, we'll level. And then I want to search for Doom and get Doom out on the board. We could probably put most of our items on Doom once we get Doom. I see an argument for Swordman as well. Once we get Doom out there, um, we get three Warrior. So Doom's pretty good. We also could have a Warrior like Abyssal Guard. There are a few people we could put out there. You know, we already have a Demon, so Doom isn't as powerful. Let's see what we get. Next round, we'll go to level 8, and we'll definitely get another Warrior on the board. And then, yeah, you know, I think if we do that... I see a good argument for swapping a lot of that stuff over to Swordman. Now that he's got the armor, he's just going to survive longer, right? But I do love my Lava Shaman. Oh, I love them both. They're, it's Sophie's choice with these two units. Okay. Level. For now, I'll at least get you out there. And, yeah, I think... Ugh. Let's try it. Let's just see what happens. Putting most everything on you. I think everything on you, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens here. And, ooh, Cannon Granny. I will grab Lava Shaman because I would love to three-star Lava Shaman here. Cannon Granny is a fun unit. I have no use for you currently, Cannon Granny. But you are fun. Don't let anyone tell you you're not. The other option, you know, we could grab... If we grab one more Shaman, we get four Shaman. So that could be fun to see as well. Ooh, that was a lot of damage from Swordman. That might have been the right call. Getting that Swordman all buffed up. Let's see. Grim Touch, I already got a two star. So I'll say no thank you to Grim Touch. Soul Devour, ooh, Berserker. Pretty good warrior. Search for another. Skull Hunters again, and there's Doom. Hmm, do I go with Berserker or do I go with Doom? Let's go with Doom. Let's see how he does. I know he kind of gets his damage negated, the extra pure damage, but he's just a really good unit. He's really strong in general. I don't really want a three star Skull Hunter. That wasn't my plan. I could Tusk, it's called Tusk Champion. I could Tusk Champion, but I'd have to be level 9 to get the benefit of Beast. And then it's going to be harder for me to get Shaman. I just need one more Shaman, right? Yeah. I'm thinking if I get another Shaman, which won't be hard to do. There's a one-cost Shaman. I could level 9. Okay. I know what I want. You know what? Maybe Berserker would be the right call. Here's my thought here. I'm going to take the Shaman, the Glacial Shaman, put Berserker out there to get that Warrior Synergy, and then we also have the Shaman Synergy. I think I'm going to look to do that. That sounds fun. Who do we got? Red Axe. Defector. Here we go. I'm going to say Sayonara to you guys. Sayonara. I don't think I've ever said that in my life. <laughs> okay. Item-wise, we'll just see what we get and combine from there. Something that'll help us. Swordman's becoming brutal. You know, we could have like a... No, we didn't get it. I was going to say we could have like a teleport dagger on Swordman's. Always pretty fun. Okay. Uh, well... Rune Hammer is the only choice from these items. Uh, I'll take it. Oops. Put it on the wrong person. Not the best on him, obviously. You know, he doesn't do a lot of time attacking. Ooh, Scryer. Well, now I really want... Let's just do this. Let's just put Shaman out there really quick. It might screw my warriors up for a second, but... I mean, 
We now we have six cave, four shaman. Really early too, it's a lot easier to get. And they all transform into something. One turned into a shining assassin. One turned into another storm shaman. And the other turned into a dark spirit. So, yeah, pretty good. It's a fun little combination there. Nice victory for us. Okay. Now, I think I want to get to level 9. So I have a higher likelihood of finding these high-cost units, right? I think. Ooh, Pirate Captain. I like Pirate Captain also. It's kind of old school, but let's... Old school for me, by the way. Everyone's like, old school? What do you even mean? It's just a unit. I used to love... When I first started this game, man, ooh, I love Pirate Captain. Love him, love him, love him. I no longer need you, Defector. I've got my three Shaman. Let's see who they turn into. It's fun watching this transformation, right? We've got... Oh, okay, there's our transformation time. We've got a three-star Warpwood Sage. We've got a two-star Thorn Predator and a three-star Thunder Trace. Just the randomness of it's very fun to see. Ooh, what are we getting blasted by? Cannon Granny? Is that what that was? Oh, yeah, he's back there. You can't put items on your Shaman, from what I understand, because when they transform, the items are irrelevant. So... It makes sense at this point that we've stacked everything on Swordman. Ladies and gentlemen, my I used to be a painter. Then I took an arrow in the wound. All right, and I'm going to get our pirate captain out there. My thought here with pirate captain, just give us the ability to bring that ship into port, baby. I'm wondering, you know, with Swordman, given that they're spinning a lot of the time, they don't get to use a ton of these items. I'm just going to move them over one. I don't know if this is right. Because what is this based off? It's just based off magic damage. I guess there is a good period where he's attacking when he's not spinning. Ooh. Turned into a three-star Venom. I always want to call him Viper. Viper. I don't know if you guys have that where you, you all... <laughs> I might be the only person who has it where I always want to call units the same thing. Uh, the same wrong thing. So, what we're looking at now... Uh, we've got... Three Shaman. Six Cave. What else could we do? I can't make six Warrior right now. Divine doesn't really help me. I'm trying to think of what is the next best unit to put out there. I could swap, I could put Abyssal Guard in place of Pirate Captain and then another Marine unit. That might be the way to go. Live by the sword, kill by Ooh. The sword. What'd you get? Get out of here, buddy. I, have one husband, two kids. I definitely want to star up Lava Shaman if I can because that just means he, they turn into more powerful units, you know? Ooh, these knights. These knights might be pretty tough for us, honestly. Especially one of our guys turns into Frostblaze Dragon. One of my least favorite units in the game. I've seen people use Frostblaze Dragon to wonderful, uh, I don't know, wonderful <laughs> result. But not me. I don't do well with it. I get the positioning of it, but it's just, oof, too much for me. Okay. So, we need to go to level 10 if we want to get our marine synergy. It might be smart if we're dealing with any mages, which we're not really. We're not really. Hmm. We'll have to see. I also would like to star up a few of these units here. It's gonna cost a lot of money. And what item do I really want? You know, when I'm looking at these enemies, um, that's Glacial Knight, so they're probably going to have a strong carry. These others, that's also Knight. They're probably going to try to make their Avenge Knight a carry. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Well, our options aren't great. What can this turn into? Nothing. Uh, what do I want to do here? I don't really like that at all. I don't love this either. <sighs> Alright, let's take Ghost Blade. 
Okay, we got a lot of gold. I'm gonna start leveling us here. I wanna go to 10, get that magic resistance. Or be open to putting another unit down. Maybe I just wanna put a dark spirit on the board, you know, to help me drain these knights. That might be the right call anyway. But either way, I'd like to get us to level 10 here. How much health is everybody hanging out with? Quite a bit, huh? 2,900. When did somebody's win streak? Earth is Welcome to the Marines. Next round, we star up automatically. You get one experience every round. So when down here, we're at 47 of 48 experience. Next round, we get one experience. That's why I'm not spending again to level. Stone Spirit. Hmm. I could pair you with Dark Spirit. There's another possibility. But you're probably leaving my board here. Abyssal Guard again. I could have a three-star Abyssal Guard. That actually happens a lot. Not a lot of people grab this unit. Surprised we haven't seen another Storm Shaman, but I guess somebody's, you know, been holding on to him, right? Ooh, that Sacred Lance are doing some work. Not too much work for us. Cave Synergy's working out really well, you know. Just working out great and then having some fun with our... Uh... Ooh, now we're... 9 of 10. That gets us uh, 10 of 10. Unfortunately, given that we have three Shaman out there, we're not able to get a six Warrior Synergy. I could if I pulled Shaman, but our Shamans are pretty useful here. Now, I just want to find the rest of our units. Hmm. There's Storm Shaman. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and egg Storm Shaman here. Just two star it. It means it turns into an even better unit. So a three star Thorn Predator there. It did lower its cost. So what that means for its transformation is the units it transforms into are not as good as if it was a legendary cost item. It's based on its cost plus two, I believe is how it's set up. Ooh, is that Knight? hurting us here yeah move those knights they will be tricky for us I think we need to get a dark spirit on the board I don't want that I guess I'll put one of you none of this is great for us okay keep looking Mm, Red Axe Chief. Helicopter. Another Stone Spirit. Pirate Captain. Got one out there. Hmm. Well, going up against this knight is not going to be easy. Oh, is this, a this is the other knight. Going up against this knight is going to be easy. Ha ha! The other knight's the one we're worried about. Oh, jeez. we got a lot of items here to deal with. Wraith Shard. I'm definitely going to turn this into a Barbaric Curus. Just give everyone tons of attack speed. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a Cloud Halberd so I can disable the highest unit's attack. I'll take one of these guys, a Python Wand. Take this additional Python Wand and move it over to the Skull Hunter here. Let's see. Get ourselves a Pulse Staff. Put that on Pirate Captain. Actually... Yeah. Where's my other pulse staff? A dagger. Who do I want to put? I guess on Abyssal Guard at this point, huh? Magicka Crystal. <sighs> okay. Ghost Blade it is. Sure. And a teleport dagger. I'm gonna put this on our sword man, just pop it on the back line there. All right, we gotta find some of these people. Storm Shaman again, Abyssal Guard. Oop, there was Abyssal Guard, my mistake. We're close to starring up a few people. We're, run we're running low on health and time, so I'm gonna have to start rolling and, and making some decisions here. 
It looks like Swordman's not going to be that dude, unfortunately. We just didn't find him. How'd we do here? Not bad, huh? Ended their win streak. We got some money. And now it's time to go. Swordman, pirate captain. Okay. Thistle guard. Swordman again. Did not expect Swordman to be the one. Storm shaman again. There's dark spirit. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna drop our sword, man. Screw it. Grab Dark Spirit. Storm Shaman as well. I could double up our shamans. Instead of using the idea that we didn't use, obviously, which is Marine. Just double up our shamans here. But I think I, I've got to put Dark Spirit out there. If I want another unit. We're doing okay. Ooh, that can't grant anything. Did we get him? We got him! Ah, well, we didn't get to get the unit I wanted, which I really wanted to star up that Lava Shaman, the Abyssal Guard, then maybe swap out Pirate Captain for that Dark Spirit. But, hey, a pretty good run, even though everyone was going for Cave. If we were being smart there, we should have done a different strategy as soon as we saw everyone was trying to do the same thing. But there's playing around with the new Cave Shaman in this patch. Uh, let me know your thoughts, any questions you have about this video, all the likes and comments and subscriptions. They mean a lot to me. Uh, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. By we, I mean me. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate everyone that subscribes. Thank you so much, and I will see you all next time. Mwah!